All right, today we're going to be looking at how to migrate a website to Cloudways. We've seen how you can create a website on Cloudways, what you have to do, what you can do. But now we're going to look at how we can migrate a website that we have already created, a client's website, for example, that they want to migrate to Cloudways. So let's get into it. All right. So this is the website that we are going to be migrating. It's quite a big website. As you can see, it has a lot of information. And just so you know, the migration time depends very much on how much data you have on your website. Yeah. So it can take some time depending on how heavy your website is, in other words. And for that, obviously, you need a Cloudways account. So I'm going to log into my account, but you can simply create an account already. All right. If you don't have one, obviously. And you need first to create a server. All right. Otherwise, there will be no place to, to uh, migrate your website. Okay. So I'm going to go to my servers and I'm going to launch a new one. And I'm going to go and choose WordPress as my application and I'm going to name this migrated website. Okay. You can name it whatever you want, obviously something that works for your project and you can create the project separately. I will show you how to do that, but I'm just going to select one right now, Studio Egly, and I'm going to have this created on digital ocean, right? And the size is going to be about two gigabyte. Okay. You can choose uh, whichever size you want. You can go scale up or down in the future, however you want. Then let's choose the location and the location is going to be Frankfurt. And yeah, I think that's about it. So I'm going to launch it. Let's skip this part. It's going to take about seven minutes. It does take uh, some time until this server is created or a server is created. But let me go to um, my projects. And as you can see, I have one created here. So the way you create projects, you simply go to add project, project name, let's say project Jane, <laughs> create project. And it's super, super easy. All right. Let's go to our uh, server. The project has been created, as you can see. So let's go to the server and yeah, I'm going to uh, come back once this is done. All right. In the meantime, let's go to the website uh, that we want to migrate. So I'm going to go to plugins and we have to install the migration uh, plugin. OK, so let's go to add plugin and let's call, look for Cloudways WordPress migrator plugin. OK, so I'm going to install this and activate and you have to add your email in here. All right. So I'm going to add my email. I agree. Migrate. OK, and now we have to fill in all these details. But first, we need to have our server to final finalize the setup. And then we add all this information and this information you will be able to find in the back end of your server. OK, we're going to go through that in a minute. All right. So our server is done and we can access it from here. All right. So we will need this information for our migration. So let's go back to the migration. So we need the destination site. Let's go to application, migrate website. And you will see access details here, right? So this is the application URL and this is what we need to uh, add there. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to just copy, uh, copy the link address and I'm going to add it in here. All right. So let's go back to our project. Let's go back to my website. And now we need to the public uh, IP, the username and password. OK, so I'm going to copy this. And add it in here, database name. We have to go back to our application database name. Yeah, you can find it here. All right, let's go back to migrate website and we need this details. So the SFTP name and user pro and password are this and this. All right. As you can see here, F SFTP. I know it's a lot of back and forth and it can be uh, confusing, but it's easy. All right. So actually did not copy the right one. This is the database name. OK, so this is it. All right. You have to pay attention. All right. I mean, not to me, but what you're copying. 
All right, we do not have a password. We want to migrate any root directories unless you don't want to, obviously, right? So you can see what you are migrating. You can even ch check on this one if you have a directory private and migrate additional database tables. No, unless you do want that and you will see what is under here. So make sure to click to see what op what options you have. All right. Is this site password protected? The site that we are transferring? No, it's not. So we can migrate. All right. So we're not going to save. So this is going to take a little bit of time. I mean, depending on the size of your, you know, website, but I will leave this on the screen and I'll come back as soon as this has been done. All right, it seems like it's done, it's over. So we can now check our migrated website. So as you can see here, you have to connect your domain, obviously, because it's on this funny domain, then enable SSL always and configure your settings always. Yeah, okay, let's go to Cloudways. Ta -da! How cool is this? All right, my laptop is having a moment because it's very hot today, but yeah, let's go back to our Cloudways account. Let's go to migrated website, migrated website, and actually let's go to migrated website and let's go uh, in the backend, right? So if you have issues logging into the backend of your application, just know that if you change the password, it will work. I had that issue. So just same. So basically you go to admin panel, you add your username and your password and you can log in in the backend. Yeah. Like you would you normally do, uh, do as you can see i had some issues here so yeah anyway i managed to log in uh it's all good and as you can see um yeah our pages are here our website has been transferred and it's all good so let me know in the comments below if you had any issues if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time bye